Thank you for allowing me to take a few minutes from your very busy UTA schedule. I'm the 108th Wing Commander, Colonel Robert Meyer. I decided to put this video together because I believe what you're about to see and hear is important. As you know, next month we'll be going through a unit effectiveness inspection, also referred to as a UEI. This is the first inspection of the new Air Force inspection system, and it represents a major change in the way we evaluate ourselves and the way the Air Mobility Command Inspector General inspects us. It's been almost three years since they were here last, and we need to focus on some very important things to make next month successful. The 108th has a long successful history of inspections, and we always strive to be the best at what we do, and I expect the same effort on this one. So let's continue to add to our proud history. First of all, let me tell you what's most important to me. It's our attitude. Our attitude will need to stay positive and focused. It may be trite, but the old adage, attitude is everything, is one of the key factors that will get us through this inspection successfully. Second, we need to focus on our customs and courtesies. I know sometimes we get a little lax and forget about things such as dress and appearance and yes ma'am and no sir. All eyes are going to be on us and we need to be prepared. Perception is reality. I want to stress to you the importance of the wing's new vision and mission statements and I want you to not only become familiar with them but internalize them as well. To the commanders and supervisors watching, be fully engaged with your airmen. Know what's going on with your squadron's programs and make your involvement proactive, not reactive. We all need to ask these questions. How are we doing things and is there a better way? Continuous improvement of all our processes must become our focus. I'm sure you have heard some new words being thrown around over the past year or so. You've probably heard APHIS, MCT, WIT, UEI. CSIP and Capstone. I hope you're not hearing these words for the first time. These are based on changes to the new Air Force inspection system. More importantly, it puts the responsibility on commanders and all of us to evaluate our own compliance rather than the MAGCOM IG. The goal of the Air Force is to make these inspections more effective and efficient. If you have specific questions, your chain of command or the Wing IG office can help. Both the Wing IG team and the Wing Inspection Team are here to help. Okay, so let's talk about what's going to transpire next month and what we have done so far to get ready. In addition, I will also note some significant changes to the inspection process. In the past, we've had Operational Readiness Inspections, or ORIs, and In-Depth Unit Compliance Inspections, or UCIs. These are no longer used in the Air Force Inspection System. The new process replaces the ORI and UCI and combines all inspections into a five-year cycle that culminates into a capstone event called the Unit Effectiveness Inspection, or UEI, which we'll go through in May. You should know that our five-year cycle began in August 2013. The flow of our capstone started with the implementation of MCT, which all of you should be very familiar with by now. Before the IG team even arrives, you should know they have already started reviewing our checklist and have reviewed the AMCIG survey we completed. The IG team is tailoring their team to what they are seeing in MCT. On the 15th of May, around 60 inspectors from Air Mobility Command will arrive here at the 108th Wing. The IG team will conduct interviews with Wing members called Airmen to Inspector Sessions. Anyone in the Wing can be interviewed. The IG team will review our programs and processes to ensure we know what we're doing, have identified our deficiencies, and are working on improving the unit every day. This is a significant change in our culture. It's very important to know about the four major graded areas we'll be graded on. The first is executing the mission. Second, managing resources. Third, leading people. And fourth, improving the unit. Right now, one of our biggest challenges is self-identifying deficiencies within a program or a process. As I talked about earlier, we're now responsible for inspecting ourselves. It's essential that we identify our issues and work to fix them, and to demonstrate to the AMCIG that we are self-identifying our own issues. As I mentioned before, if you have any questions with the inspection that your supervisors can't answer, please go visit the 108th Wing IG office located in the headquarters building. They're here to help. As I wrap this up, I want you all to remember, we're a team here at the 108th. As professional airmen who so passionately strive for personal success, 
I expect you to understand that our success as a wing is only possible if we put mission first. Know the 108th Airmen believe and live by the Air Force's core values of integrity, service before self, and excellence in all we do. On a final note, I always like to thank our families. The long hours and weekends away may be extra stressors to us, but we can't forget that our families endure all of them with us. We are only able to continue to be successful because of the strong support we receive from our family members. Remember, your families are just as much a part of the 108th family as you are. Let's make them proud and come out of this inspection with flying colors. Thank you very much for your time today. Have a great weekend.